Hi, and how are you all today? I'm Priyanka, and let us discuss this question. It says in figure 9.33, this is the figure 9.33, which we need to refer in this question. ABC and BDE are two equilateral triangles. This triangle and this triangle is an equilateral triangle such that D is the midpoint of BC. D point is the midpoint of BC. If AE a, E intersects B, C and F show that these are the six subparts of the question which we need to show. And we will be proceeding it one by one. Let us start with our solution. Here for the whole question we are given that triangle A, B, C and triangle B, G, E are equilateral triangle. Right. And also D is the midpoint of D C. So that means D D is equal to D C. We need to prove six things. So let us start with the first one. Or let us avoid writing this section. One of the things that we need to do over here is we need to join AD and EC. So this will be a part of our construction. That is to join AD and EC also draw EM perpendicular to Right, let us have this figure again. This is the figure. What we need to do over here is we need to draw EM perpendicular to BD. Then we need to join AD and EC. Right. Now let us start with our first parts prove. Here, what we need to prove is that area of triangle B D E B D E is equal to one fourth the area of A B C that is this big triangle. Let us divide our page into two columns. Let this be the left hand side and this be the right hand side. First of all, in the left hand side, we will be finding out area of, or let us write it in short form only, that is area of triangle B, D, E. We know that the formula for Finding out the area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 side square. We can take any of the side here. So we can write root 3 by 4 and let us take this side as pd square. And similarly here we will be finding out area of a, B, C and since in the LA, RHS we have one fourth, so let us find out one fourth area of A, B, C that will be 1 by 4 and again using the formula for an equilateral triangle that is root 3 by 4 side square. Here also we can take any of the sides. So let us take side as B, C. So here we even have B, C square straight away. Now, further, we can solve it like root 3 by 4. Now here, BD can be written as BC by 2 as it is half of DC. D is the midpoint, so we can have it like this. Then we have root 3 by 4, BC square by 4, getting multiplied. 
And further we have root 3 by 16 BC square as our LHS. Whereas talking about our RHS we have root 3 by 16 BC square straight away. Since LHS is equal to RHS, so we can say that we have proved the first part. We have proved that area of BDE is equal to one fourth area of ABC. Right, so this completes our first part. Now let us proceed on with the second part. The second part which we need to prove is that area of BDE is equal to half the area of BAE. Let us start with our proof. Now for this we should be having a diagram. Now if you notice that an equilateral triangle have all the angles equal to 60 degrees. So all the angles are equal to 60 degrees. Now we have CBA that is CBA. This angle equals to 60 degree and also we have Angle BCA as equal to 60 degrees. Again, we have CBE, CBE, this angle equal to 60 degrees and this angle also equal to 60 degrees. So, if you notice, they are forming alternate angles. So, we can just write down that. angle CBE is equal to 60 degrees because triangle BDE is an equilateral triangle and similarly angle BCA is equal to 60 degrees because triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. So we know that two lines are said to be parallel when two lines are intersected by a transversal. Now here the two lines we are talking about is AC and BE. When these two lines are intersected by transversal BC such that Alternate interior angles are equal then the lines are parallel to each other. So since these two are parallel and also, if you notice triangle P, E, C, we can say that area of triangle B, C, E, B, C, E, or B, E, C is equal to area of triangle B, A, C, B,
D A E. They both are on the are equal because of the simple reason because they are having a common base that is D E and they are between the same parallel lines. So we can say that area of those triangles which are having a common base and are between the same parallel lines are equal. Further, we can say that area of P, D, E is equal to Half the area of B E C because B G E is half the area of B E C because E D is the median and a median divides the triangle into two equal halves. So B E D and D E C are two equal halves of this big triangle. Let us have a small figure that will help you in getting it correct. This is D, this is C, this is E. E D is a median because D is the midpoint of B C. So we can write that B D E is half of this big triangle that is B E C, right? Further, above we have proved that Area of BEC is equal to BAE. So we can just easily substitute it and write down that it is equal to half of area of BAE. And let this be the first equation and this be the second equation. And here we have proved the required second part. Now the third part which we need to prove is area of ABC is twice the area of BEC. Now we know that area of BCE is equal to half the area of BEC. This is Proved in part 2. That is the above part. Also, we know that area of BTE is again equal to 1 by 4 area of ABC. That is proved in part 1. So by these two we can say by comparing third and fourth equation we have Half of area of BEC is equal to 1 by 4 area of ABC because here the left hand side of these two equations are same to each other. So therefore the right hand side will be equal to each other. Now if you take this 2 from the denominator to the numerator we are left with area of BEC is 2 by 4 area of ABC which on simplifying will give us 1 by 2 or this 2 will again be taken to the left hand side so we can say that or twice area 
BEC is equal to area of ABC. Or reversing it, we have area of ABC is equal to 2 times the area of BEC. This is the proof of the third part and we have proved it. Now let us proceed on with the fourth part which we need to prove over here is area of BFE is equal to area of AFT. Now, as we proved that these two lines are parallel to each other, similarly we can prove that this line is parallel to this line because again alternate angles are equal to each other. We can say that straight away GE is parallel to VAB because angle ABC is equal to angle EGB is equal to 60 degrees and also they are alternate angles between these parallel lines. So, the triangles triangle B, G, E that is the area of this triangle BDE is equal to area of AET by the use of theorem 9.2 which says that the triangles having the common base and are between the same parallel lines are equal to each other. The area are equal to each other. Here the common base is DE and the parallel lines are DE is parallel to AB. So these both triangles are between are having the same base and are between the same parallel lines. Hence, by the theorem 9.2, we can say that the areas are equal. Now, on subtracting, area of GFE from both the sides, we have Area of BGE is equal to area of AEG as we have proved above. And if we subtract area of GFE from both the sides, we are left with area of BFE is equal to area of AFT which we were supposed to prove. So here we have proved the fourth part also. Proceeding on to the fifth part very quickly. Here we need to prove area of BF E is equal to twice the area of F E G. Now, let us start with our proof once again. Now, if you notice that G is the midpoint of BC and triangle ABC is an equilateral. Triangle. So, 
we can see that therefore AD is perpendicular to BC and also we know that by construction we have EM this is the point M is perpendicular to B, D. Now let us first find out the values of AB and EM and let the length of AB be equal to X. Now by Pythagoras theorem we can say that AD is the square root of, if we see, if we say AD is perpendicular to BC, then AD is AC square or AB square minus BD square, right? Now AB, square, AB we have taken to be as X centimeter, so it will be X square minus x by 2 the whole square because BD is half of AB as we have proved above. On simplifying it, we have that the value of AD is root 3 by 2 x. Similarly, EM is equal to x by 2 the whole square minus x by 4 the whole square and it is x by 4 so here on solving we have x square by 4 minus x square by 16 which is equal to four x square minus x square by 16 3x square by 16 then the root that is equal to root 3x by 4. So on comparing 1 and 2 we have that A D is equal to 1 by 2 of E M because A D is root 3 by 2 X and it is equal to 1 by 2 or it is twice E M. three by four x. So on cancelling it will be equal only. Right. Further now in triangle we know that area of triangle AFT is equal to area of triangle FED. If you find out their areas, it would be half into base that is FD, FG into height that is AD. Whereas it is also equal to half into base that is FD and height that is EN. We will take the perpendicular heights only. Now, if we substitute what we got from above, we have 1 by 2 into FT into AD is equal to 1 by 2 into FT into EM can, can be written as
Now here we found out that AD is equal to twice EM that was 1 by 2 EM because when we multiply AD by 1 by 2 then only we will be able to get multiply by 1 by 2 then only we will be able to get EM. That is why it is Now here we were comparing them. So if you notice it would be half into Ft into now here it can be written as Em can be written as one by two A D and if you see the only difference is that this is one by two AFT triangle. The area is twice this triangle because this is half of it. So twice area of FED is equal to area of AFT. But we also have that area of BFE is equal to area of AFT in part 4 we proved it. So since right hand sides are equal, we can say that the left hand sides are also equal and we can say that therefore area of BFE that is this is equal to twice area of FET and we have proved the required question. Fifth part, this completes the fifth part. And the last and final part, that is the sixth part, says we need to prove over here is area of FED is equal to 1 by 8 area of AFC. With the help of the above proofs that we have done, we can say that we have area of BDE equal to 1 by 4 area of A, B, C. This was in part 1 that we proved. Also, we can write that area of B, D, E can be split it up and can be written as area of B, S, E plus area of F, E, D is equal to 1 by 4. Area of A, B, C can be written as twice area of A, D, C because this is half of this whole triangle. Further, we can write that twice area of F, E, D because this triangle is twice this triangle plus area of FED is equal to half that will be on simplifying area of ADC can be written as area of AFC minus area of AFG. You can have a picture to simultaneously see the required happenings. Further, we have thrice the area of FED on adding these two parts. That is these two is equal to half area of 
A S C we have multiplied half with this, multiplied by half into area of A S C can be written as twice area of F E T which we have taken from the above parts or four times because on cancelling out we will get one and when we will be taking this from right hand side to left hand side become four times area of F E D is equal to one by two area of A F C and if you take this four from left hand side to right hand side we have area of F E G is equal to 1 by 8 area of A F C which was needed to be proved and with this proof we have completed the given question. This was a big question but with the help of the above proofs you can easily prove out the next proofs also. Take care.